salam peace hello abes i am your instructor engineer rhymes and today we are going to discuss Transport and storage of fruits and vegetables Learning objectives At the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to characterize the ideal transport for fresh fruits and vegetables Explain how refrigerated storage can reduce deterioration of fresh fruits and vegetables Explain the importance of appropriate transport in the marketing of produce And discuss the fruit and vegetable damage in car during transport lesson outline characteristics of ideal transport for fresh fruits and vegetables effect of refrigerated storage on deterioration of fresh fruits and vegetables importance of appropriate transport in the marketing of produce and damages incurred by fruits and vegetables during transport Storage and refrigerated transport, cooling rooms and refrigerated vehicles Have well-designed and adequately equipped compartments Have slip-resistant floors Are perfectly insulated Have adequate and well-positioned doors for loading and unloading Allow effective distribution of cool air Allow monitoring and temperature control Proper air spaces between pallets and room walls to ensure proper air circulation. Storage Temperature is the single most important factor in maintaining quality after harvest. Refrigerated storage retards the following elements of deterioration in perishable crops. Aging due to ripening, softening and textural and color changes. Undesirable metabolic changes and respiratory heat production. Moisture loss resulting to wilting. Spoilage due to invasion by bacteria, fungi, and yeast. Undesirable growth such as sprouting of potatoes. Objective of fresh fruit and vegetable storage. To minimize deterioration, extend the lifespan of the fruit and vegetables, keep fruit and vegetables in good condition until they are consumed. Why is temperature very critical during storage? Fruits and vegetables have living cells. Consume oxygen, substrates, evolved carbon dioxide, heat, ethylene, loss, hydrogen through epidermis. Metabolically active, tissue softening starts to sugar, sorbitol to fructose, organic acids decreasing, flavor volatiles increasing, color changes. One of the most important functions of refrigeration is to control the crop's respiration rate. The higher the storage temperature, the higher the respiration rate will be. For refrigeration to be effective in postponing deterioration, it is important that the temperature in cold storage rooms be kept as constant as possible. Storage rooms should be well insulated and adequately refrigerated and should allow for air circulation to prevent temperature variation recommended storage temperatures 1 to 4 degrees celsius or 34 to 39 degree fahrenheit for apple asparagus broccoli grapes lettuce mushroom peach and plum berry fruits 5 to 9 degrees celsius or 41 to 48 degree fahrenheit for avocado juicini eggplant Cucumber, peppers, potato, and greater than 10 degrees Celsius or 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Avocado for tropical, pumpkin, tomato, papaya, mango, banana, sweet potato, and pineapple. Preventing moisture loss. While temperature is the primary concern in the storage of fruits and vegetables, relative humidity is also important, directly influences water loss in produce. Most fruit and vegetable crops retain better quality at high relative humidity, 80 to 95 percent, but at this humidity, disease growth is encouraged. Humidifier.
Transportation. Transportation is a big and often the most important factor in the marketing of fresh produce. Ideally, transport would take produce from the grower directly to the consumer. Losses directly attributed to transport conditions can be high. The goal of every person concerned with transport should be that the produce be kept in the best possible condition during transport and that the haulage of produce be quick and efficient. To this end, produce should be properly packaged and properly loaded on a suitable vehicle. The damage and loss incurred during non-refrigerated transport are caused primarily by mechanical damage and by overheating. Mechanical damage, careless handling of pack produced during loading and unloading, vibration or shaking of the vehicle, especially on bad roads, fast driving and poor condition of the vehicle, poor stowage which allows packages in transit to sway. The stow may collapse. Packages stuck too high. The movement of produce within a package increases in relation to its height in the stock. Overheating. This can occur not only from external sources but also from heat generated by the produce within the package itself. Overheating promotes natural breakdown and decay and increases the rate of water loss from produce. The causes of overheating include the use of closed vehicles without ventilation, closed tow stacking patterns blocking the movement of air between and through packages thus hindering the dispersal of heat, the lack of adequate ventilation of the packages themselves, exposure of the packages to the sun while awaiting transport or while trucks are going to unload at their destination. Fresh produce should not be transported in vehicles that previously held animals or harmful substances. Ensure vehicle and containers are clean and sanitary. That's all for now. For further readings, see the links on the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga lessons natin. Wa See you on our